What's up everyone, Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics here with a unique video targeting exercises with my hammers. So, hammer training is something I got into probably about three, four years ago and really came to life with a few different companies that I uh, saw were making a run for it. So the first one I wanna talk about is Banff. So this is version one of the Banff hammer. I know version two is gonna hit the market here pretty soon, pretty excited about that. Essentially what I target these for is high intensity training. High intensity training, uh, cardiovascular work. I like throwing these in as part of my circuit on hit day where I'll do like two or three circuits back to back. These are really good for uh, basically assorted kettlebell swings, slams. Uh, the best part about these is because they are rubberized, they can actually be slammed onto a surface. So they can land on your surface, whether it's your concrete, your backyard, your pavers, and you're going to be fine. You're not going to damage your hammer. You're not going to damage your pavers. You're all, it's all going to be good. So Banff is really uh, probably the one that I use the most. Again, I use that for uh, quite a lot of my different swings and slams, uh, and I love the shortened handle uh, variation as well. The bigger hammer um, I, I use for my overhead swings, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But Banff hammer is probably the one I use the most. The second most common... Uh, Hammers that I use are going to be the tribewads. So these are the tribewad hammers. And as you may or may not be able to tell, these are made out of one solid piece of reinforced steel. So the tribewad hammers essentially offer a one sided dumbbell. That's the way I view these. Any exercise where I would use a dumbbell, let's say I wanted to do Arnold press and I wanted to do a different variation on an Arnold press that I couldn't get with the dumbbells. I would oftentimes use the tribewad. Take for example this exercise, there's a single arm Arnold press, all the weight is now on one side. So there's a counterbalance that has to happen, A with your grip strength and B with whatever muscle group it is that you're targeting. And you will notice that immediately when you start doing these. So slower, more, you know, Focused tempo work, that's going to be what I use the tribewad for. I use them a lot for walking lunges, hammer curls, overhead press, as I just demonstrated. But essentially, it's a way to switch up and make a, a dumbbell exercise a little bit more fun. So that's what I use tribewad for. And uh, I, I like them both. They're very, very good. Again, they're, they're used for different things. I use uh, the BAMP hammer the most and the tribewad hammer probably the second most. Now, the last hammer I want to show you is right over here. Look at this. So this is the SVA Thor hammer. This thing is a beast. So this thing weighs about uh, 75 pounds up top. And what I use this for, this is the war hammer. I use this for overhead swings, very, very heavy overhead swings. Like I can't even hold this thing here for very long. I'll just set it right there. But uh, for overhead swings, for uh, one-sided walking lunges, those are pretty much the two exercises I use this for the most. It is really cool looking. I mean, there's no way to pretend that it's not. It really is an outstanding hammer. There's a fabricator out in, uh, I think he's in Sweden, and he designs these. Uh, they're made out of solid, solid reinforced metal. So it's a very, very heavy, but functional piece of equipment if you've got the strength to lift it. So the uh, are you worthy moment really does come into play when you try to throw this around. But yeah, those are my hammers. And those are what I use uh, primarily for my hammer strength training. And I really like it. I think it gives a different functional way of looking at training. And so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.